It's one of the most popular cities in Clark County, and it's also one of the most expensive. I'm talking about the city of Camas. So if you're looking for a town that has a little bit of everything, then stick with me and let's see if Camas is right for you. What's up everybody welcome back i'm rick anderson this is the southwest washington living channel where we go over everything about moving to and living in southwest washington and the beautiful pacific northwest if you're new to the channel thanks for taking the time to check it out do me a favor hit that like button subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell so you know the next time i put out a new video and if you're thinking about buying or selling a home here in Southwest Washington, I am a licensed real estate broker with eXp Realty. And if you've got questions about the area, uh, you'd like me to help you find your new home here in the area, or you're looking to sell your current home here in Southwest Washington, or even if you just want to grab a beer and chat, feel free to reach out anytime, call, text, email. There's even a link in the description down below to schedule a Zoom call with me. All right. Let's go and check out the city of Camas. Once we get off Highway 14 and we head into downtown Camas, one of the first things that you're going to see is the paper mill. So Camas was founded as a mill town back in the late 1800s, and the mill's been a constant throughout the life of the town. The mill still does operate today, just not on the scale that it used to, and they took care of that nasty rotten egg sulfur smell that you find around paper mills, so Camas isn't the stinky town anymore. Now, we're going to come right into the heart of downtown Camas. If you love a place that has that quaint, small town vibe, then this is it. I mean, seriously, you could film Hallmark movies on this street. In downtown Camas, you've got your pick of restaurants, shopping, art galleries, antique shops, breweries, tap rooms, and a whole bunch more. You've also got the Camas Hotel, which is a smaller boutique hotel, and the Liberty Theater, which is true Americana, originally built back in 1927. This old girl is still hanging in there, showing a mix of new releases, classics, and a whole bunch more. Uh, the streets are pretty quiet right now, but don't let that fool you. The downtown area gets packed in the summertime with different events and just folks out enjoying the good weather and the shade from all these beautiful trees. We're going to head north out of the downtown area and through some of the older neighborhoods here in the city center part of Camas. As we cruise along, you can see that this part of town is a lot of older homes, well-established neighborhoods, nice parks, and one thing to take note of is that despite the age of most of these homes, for the most part, they're all very well cared for. You can definitely see the pride and ownership as you go around town. As we go along here, you might also be able to tell that we're pretty consistently driving uphill. That's because Camas sits at the base of Prune Hill and goes down to the Columbia River. Because of its location, a lot of homes here in Camas have some pretty amazing views. You'll see it more as we get up into the neighborhoods further up Prune Hill. Okay. Now we're north of town, out by Camas High School, and we're getting into the part of Camas that's a mix of rural and new developments. Coming up here, we've got the North Hills neighborhood. You can see it's obviously a newer development. Prices in this neighborhood are going to be in the seven hundred dollars to $800,000 range. And for Camas, that's going to be about your average price point. 
In April of 2022, the average sale price in Camus was $767,400. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what you can expect for both average home price, uh, but also what you're going to get for it. As we head back down towards Lackamas Lake, here we've got Camas High School. Camas schools are some of the highest ranked schools in Washington State and the country. And here we've got Lackamas Lake Lodge. This is a really nice spot to hold events, get together, stuff like that. In fact, I almost had my wedding reception here. The lodge sits right on Lackamas Lake and next to Heritage Park where we're pulling into. These spots are crazy busy in the summertime with people boating, swimming, hiking. So if you come out here and you want to check out the area in the summertime, you're going to have to get out here early to get a parking spot. Now it's time to head up Prune Hill and check out some luxury homes. We're going to come up the hill into the Lake Ridge North neighborhood. Price point here is going to be in the million plus range. Uh, as we keep climbing up the hill, the houses are going to get even bigger and more expensive, as you'll see. Uh, one plus side to spending that kind of money is the views. So a lot of the properties here are going to have views of Lackamas Lake, Mount Hood, uh, the Cascade Mountains, or the Columbia River. And if you're an airplane geek like me, homes on this side with the Lackamas Lake view are going to get a lot of general aviation traffic from the Grove Field Airport and also from Troutdale Airport, which is just across the river, because the Lackamas Lake area is one of the flight paths out to the training area. So if you love general aviation and you got money for a house like this, this will be a great spot for you. All right, as we keep cruising up the hill here, you'll see, just like I was talking about, the homes are getting bigger, a little more opulent, more expensive, definitely more expensive as we go up the hill. Um, but if you have the budget for it, the Camas Prune Hill area is definitely a great place to buy a home. And here we've got the Summit Terrace neighborhood. This is one of the newer developments on the hill. In fact, there's still several homes under construction, as you can see. All the lots in this development are currently sold, but when they do come up on the market, you're going to be looking again in that $1 million, $1.1 and higher price point. That's going to be pretty standard for uh, the Camas area, especially up here on Prune Hill and down in the uh, Lackamas Shores neighborhood, which we'll get to here in just a minute. And as we start to head downhill towards the Lackamas Shores neighborhood, right here, hopefully it kind of gives you an idea of what I'm talking about with these views. As you can see over here, we've got the Cascade Mountain Range, and then you're going to have Lackamas Lake down below that. Unfortunately, the view from a GoPro just doesn't do it justice. And off to the right, if we could keep looking over that way, you would see Mount Hood. It was, uh, even though it was cloudy the day I was filming this, it was still poking out from under the clouds. All right, now we're turning into the Lackamas Shores neighborhood. This is where the money's at in Camas. There's a few homes in this neighborhood that are currently on the market, and they're going to set you back anywhere from about one to four million. Uh, most of these homes are all going to have lake and mountain views. Some of the homes on the north end of the neighborhood also back up to Camas Meadows Golf Club. This is probably where you'll find the most amount of luxury properties anywhere in the Clark County area. Some of the benefits of living in the Lackamas Shores neighborhood are access to the private boat launch, a community park, uh, they have their own canoe, kayak, and recreation club, as well as events throughout the year, like a neighborhood 4th of July celebration. 
Thanks for riding with me today, guys, and checking out the city of Camas. If you want to learn more about moving to Camas or anywhere here in southwest Washington, you got to reach out. Give me a call. Shoot me a text. Send me an email. Schedule that Zoom call. You guys know how to get a hold of me. I love hearing from you. Do me a big favor before you take off today. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell. That's going to do it for me today. So until next time, bye, everybody.